What is church? Is it a building? With some pews? A piano? And stained glass? Or is it something more? 2,000 years ago, the church was born. It wasn't made up of the famous, the rich, or the powerful. It was made up of everyday people who passionately believed in the message of Jesus. It was the beginning of a revolution of love and freedom that would change the world forever. In 369 AD, the church built the first hospital as a place to care for those who cannot care for themselves. Today, the church is the largest single provider of healthcare in history. The church was the first to stand up for the rights of children, creating the first and largest orphanage system in the world. 100 out of the first 110 universities in America were founded as Christian institutions. Places like Harvard, Dartmouth, Yale, and Princeton. Much of the world's greatest art, architecture, literature, and music has been shaped by the church. But the impact of the church isn't just ancient history. Today, the church is stronger than ever and continues to impact every corner of the world. Over 300,000 churches in America and almost 5 million churches around the world stand ready to be instruments of change, to do what governments could never do. Every day, the church brings food and fresh water to millions of people across the world. It has a renewed passion to help widows and orphans and fights to free slaves in every part of the world. It stands ready as a first responder on the scene to provide relief for victims of disaster. The ripple of Jesus' impact can be clearly seen and felt in the church today. And it's made up of people like me and you. Today, you didn't just come to a building. You came to a revolution 2,000 years in the making. The world is facing as much trouble as ever. But we are not afraid. We were created for such a time as this. We will continue to do what we've always done. Proclaim the message of Jesus to help a world that needs him so desperately. Welcome. 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 Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Would you pray with me? Father God, I come to you now and I thank you so much for the truth of your word and for the privilege that it is to be your church. I pray that this day, Father, will live on in the hearts and the lives of those that you give me the privilege of preaching to, that this day will be a turning point, a place where perhaps we go like those crossing into the promised land and we put those stones that represent the crossing of the Jordan so that we'll never ever forget. Lord, speak to our hearts, I pray, this day in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I come to you this morning with a privilege and a very special message. Special because I know that God has given me a word for this church I ask you, is that the definition of church that you know and understand? Is that what you embrace in your personhood of being? I tell you up front that I know that God has given me a special message this morning for the people of St. Johnsbury, Vermont, and for the people of the bridge. And I pray both will listen very, very carefully and that God will speak into our hearts, starting where we started. First, to be reminded what it is to be the church. That this is a biblical portrait of who we are. 